did say stop by. Weird mix of east meets west. Less like a skull shot, more like a pawn shot. Cha ching to the television. Hmm. So what is this? One of those things where you pull the handle and a prize comes out? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Oh, I guess I got a free one as well. That's cool. Vending machine. I guess those would fall under presents. Huh? Sunflower seeds and bird rice. Here, I might as well spend the rest of them, right? Let's travel back out. I just want to travel close. Zona when I bonded a little. Would I like to give her a gift? Uh, oh, do I have anything that she would like?
I don't think I have anything to even like that I got. Because I'm pretty sure, like, the, the only really unique thing that I got that time around was the shaman thing? And I feel like that would go towards the shaman guy. Like, that'd be something he'd like, so... Would it be a problem if we could maybe talk for a little while? Why are you being so serious all of a sudden? That would be because I'm seriously leaning on you right now. <laughs> Just being with you, I feel so much less afraid, less uncertain. I can't imagine how hard all of this would be if you weren't here. Of course, it's still terrifying, but having you here by my side is somehow comforting. To hear those words coming from her mouth, coming from my Zono's mouth, I was ecstatic, but also probably tomato red. I feel the same way, my Zono. You being here has really helped me through things, too. She's flattered. <clears throat> Kind of funny, isn't it? I never imagined we'd be able to talk like this, like real friends. When we were in middle school, you would hardly even look me in the eye. Never mind, talk to me. It's rude enough to stare at a normal person, and you're a celebrity. Wait, what? How did you know that? How did you know I wouldn't make eye contact with you? Because I was always sneaking glances at you. I was always on the lookout for a chance to talk to you. But I could never get a moment to myself, and graduation came before I found my chance. I still regret that. But why me, of all people? Do you remember back in seventh grade when this huge bird got lost and ended up in the school pond? I think. Uh, I remember something like that, yeah. It was a bird that shows up a lot in Japanese legends. It lives for a thousand years. <clears throat> the tortoise, ten thousand. The bird that got lost and wound up in the pond in seventh grade? I'm pretty sure it was a... I haven't... Uh, the faintest clue, I'm gonna... I, I mean... Hmm... I wanna say... Crane? Don't feel like sparrows live for a thousand years. Cranes are kind of culturally relevant. I don't even know what a Haran is. I'm gonna go with crane. <gasps> yeah. You led it into the forest behind the school where it could get away. More like I got roped into it because it happened to be my day to take the class as pets. Would you allow me to express my gratitude for what you did back then? Your gratitude? I am that crane. I have come to repay my debt. Allow me to weave a cloth for you. JK, ha 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 ha. Yeah. But, it really, but I really was moved by what you did, which is why I wanted the chance to talk to you, if only just once. Though I would have never guessed my wish would be granted quite like this. Perhaps perhaps we could have had some dramatic reunion out in the town or something, but as luck would have it, it ended up happening here in this creepy place. <clears throat> I've been thinking. Thinking that, just like you did for that crane, you'll come to my rescue. It might just be my intuition, but I trust it. I'll do my best. I'll make sure it turns out to be more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I will. She's an Esper. <laughs> Voice of Gold. Interesting. <laughs> 